Hello, so this is going to be the last section to do with thirds and we are looking at expanding double brackets that involve thirds. I'm going to take you from some really simple examples up to exam standard questions. So um, just listen carefully, make notes as you're going through and copying the examples. And if you've got any questions, don't forget to email me. So first of all, we're being asked to expand 1 plus root 2 by 2 plus root 2. So we're going to take the box method to expand this. So it doesn't matter which way round you put the brackets into the box, just provided you keep the two together. So if you're going to put a 1 here and the root 2 here, you have to keep those together. You can't swap it up with the 1 and the 2 from the other bracket. So 2 and root 2 here. I like to just do this as well to help keep it separated. So we're multiplying all of these together. 1 times by 2 is 2. 2 times by a positive root 2 is going to give me plus 2 root 2. In this bracket here, I'm going to get plus root 2 because it's just 1 times by root 2 there. And then in the final bracket, you've got root 2 times by root 2. And if you go back to the very first video, one of the first things we discuss is that that's going to give us a positive 2. So root 2 squared is going to give us 2. So putting all of these out into a single line, I've got 2 plus 2 root 2 plus root 2 plus a 2. So collect all of your numbers together. 2 plus 2 gives me 4. And then I've got the 2 root 2 plus the root 2, which gives me 3 lots of root 2. And that's the first question done. So the command word is expand. That means putting it into this grid method and finding your simplified answer. Let's go on to the second example. So this example is slightly different because we've got different values inside the thirds. So straight to it, if the word is expand, we know that means we're going to multiply it out. So I'm going to put it in slightly differently. So I've got 1 and then positive root 2 here, 2 and positive root 3 here, and we're going to multiply out these brackets now. So 1 times by 2 is 2, 1 times by positive root 3 is a positive root 3, 2 times by positive root 2 is positive 2 root 2, and finally root 2 times by root 3 is going to give me root 6. Now unlike the last one, when I start to write this out, I'm going to have 2 plus root 3 plus 2 root 2 plus root 6, there is no simplifying that can take place here. Having root 2 is like having an x, having root 3 is like having a y, and having root 6 is like having like a h. And you can't add x, y and h together. If we were multiplying, that's different, but we're not, we're adding. So that's as far as you can go with that question. Okay, so taking it up a level again here, what's going to make this one a little bit more interesting is that we've got coefficients on those thirds. So that means the number in front of the third. Same process though, the command word is still to expand the bracket, so we are still going to go with setting up our box method. So 3 times by, sorry, 3 plus, so positive 5 root 2. I've got 7, but this time I've also got a negative 2 root 2. So we need to be on our toes with the rules of multiplying positives and negatives now. So 3 times by 7 is 21. 5 root 2 times by 7, we're just going to multiply the whole numbers. So 5 is the whole number, 7 is the whole number, or an integer if you like. So positive 35 root 2. I've got 3 times by the 2 here. That's a negative 2 though, so we will get negative 6 root 2. And then on the final part here, we've got quite a bit to do. I've got positive 5 times by negative 2. So that's going to be negative 10. And then I've got a root 2 times by a root 2. And we know that root 2 squared is just going to provide us with a 2. So that's going to give me times by 2. So that bracket overall there is minus 20. So let's write everything out now and see if there's anything we can add and subtract. So 21 plus 35 lots of root 2, subtract 6 lots of root 2, subtract 20. So 21 subtract 20 is 1. Think of this now as 35x, take away 6x. 
that leaves us with positive 29x, which in this case is root 2. So just if you are still finding that a little bit tricky. The reason I can collect those is because obviously the number inside the square root is the same in both of those. If one was square root 2 and the other was square root 3, I couldn't have done that. Okay, so the final example then to have a look at today is where both of the terms inside the bracket are thirds or roots. So I've got a root 5 and a positive root 10. Now, although this says squared, remember that's not just going to give us 5 plus 10 because squared means times it by itself. So whenever you see that, you must remember to write it out like or think about it like this first. And then I've got root 5 and again positive root 10. I'll use the green there, so let's have it red here. So root 5 times by root 5 is just going to give me 5. Positive root 10 multiplied by root 5 is going to give me root 50. Here I'm going to get the square root of 50. And finally root 10 times by root 10, so that's the square root of 10 squared, will just give me 10. So let's have a look. I've got 5 plus the square root of 50 plus the square root of 50 plus 10, which is 15 plus 2 lots of root 50. Now, I would actually lose a mark here if I left that as my final answer. In previous examples, so I just flick through, the final answer has included a root 2, a root 2, a root 6 and a root 3. And then a root 2. It's been quite obvious that those thirds can't be simplified any further. But with the square root of 50, that's quite a large number. So we should put the effort in to see if we can simplify it before leaving the question here. So thinking about 50 and thinking about my square numbers, I know that factors of 50, so we've got 1 times by 50. And the next set there is 2 times by 25. Now 25 is a square number. So 15 plus 2 root, so 25 times by 2. So I can actually take that square root of 25. And if you remember from the previous um, work that I've, we've set, you multiply it now by the number that's on the outside. So that's always something that people forget if they haven't done this for a while. So 15 plus 10 lots of root 2. That should be your final, final answer where you've expanded and simplified it as far as possible. And it is expected that you do that as standard without needing to be told every time. Lovely, so have a go at the questions and again, email me if you've got any problems, anything you're not sure about or any examples that you need me to go through perhaps at a slower rate. Hope you're all well.